the No Fade channel, checking in. On today's episode of Dad Snack Session, we are diving in again to Quest Nutrition's Quest Protein Bars, specifically their s'mores flavor. If you're not familiar with this series, every episode I review some type of relatively healthy snack or treat that you might want to have on hand in case of those times where you just get hungry and you don't have time to prepare food, you don't have time to find a healthy food alternative, and you don't want to just roll into your Wendy's or your McDonald's and just go hog wild, okay? These are things that you wouldn't necessarily want to eat every day, but when times are tight, when you are on the go, when you're traveling, when you know you don't have, you're too busy making your kids food to prepare your own food, it's good to have on hand. And that's why we, I do these reviews to hopefully help you out, hopefully help you decide what might be right for you, again, to have on hand. Now we reviewed a number of Quest Protein Bars in the past. And when I say we, I mean I. I've reviewed a number of these Quest Protein Bars. Overall, the tastes have been very good. And I'm excited to dive into these s'mores flavor because across the board when it comes to protein bars, typically the s'mores flavor is extremely good. And it always makes me think of that movie, uh, The Sandlot. And if you haven't seen that movie, definitely check it out. In a future video, I am gonna compare um, a multitude of different protein bars that are all s'mores flavor to do a head-to-head -head comparison. One of the things about Quest protein bars that is usually a standout is the protein content and the carbohydrates. So let's just dive right in to the macros on this and then we're gonna go over the ingredients. One bar, one serving size, 190 calories, um, 60 grams for that size bar. In terms of fat, seven grams of fat, we've got 22 grams of carbohydrates which isn't a lot considering it's a protein bar. Typically, protein bars come in extremely high on the carb side. Um, and of those 22 carbohydrates, one of the really nice things is that 14 grams is dietary fiber, which means it's going to slow down that digestion process. You're going to feel fuller longer, and it's gonna slow down that, you know, basically lower the glycemic index of this food, slow down that insulin release, and overall it's gonna make it for a healthier food compared to something that doesn't have as much fiber in it. Also, it has four grams of uh, sugar alcohol, which some people say is better than just straight up sugar. I really haven't done enough research to tell you otherwise, but four grams of sugar alcohol and one gram of sugar. So overall, for those 22 grams of carbs, not bad, not a lot of sugar in there altogether. Now for protein, 21 grams of protein, which is very, very good for a protein bar. Some of these protein bars or self-proclaimed protein bars are coming in at like eight grams of protein, which is just a joke. In terms of ingredients, here we go. Uh, the protein, which is probably the most important part, is comes from a protein blend of milk protein isolate and then whey protein isolate. A very good uh, protein sources, all things considered. Again, we're talking about protein bars and we're comparing apples to apples. Um, and let's dive into cost. Before we even go into kit taste, let's dive into cost. Typically, these Quest protein bars are fairly expensive. If you buy singles, Sometimes they're $2.50 a piece, $3 a piece. I've seen them on sale singles in my local market basket for $2 a piece, and that was a steal. I got these off of Amazon, and I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. $13.50 for a pack of 12. For you mathematicians out there, that's $1.13 per bar, and that's an absolute steal for these. And I would highly recommend, if this is something you're interested in and you do see a sale like that, to certainly stock up. Okay, on to the good part because I am hungry. There we go. This is the same size bar for all their Quest Nutrition bars. Uh, same size, pretty pretty average size protein bar. But if you look close and you might not be able to, you can actually see chunks of chocolate here on the top. Let's break that apart. Um, and you can see some of those chunks of chocolate in there. So um, hopefully this tastes good. Let's, let's see how it tastes. A very good s'mores flavor and probably one of their top flavors overall that I have tried. I will tell you that typically when you have a s'mores flavor protein, you get a lot of uh, that heavy chocolate flavor and then a little bit of graham and a little bit of marshmallow. This one actually seemed much more balanced where you get chocolate, marshmallow, and graham all in one. Neither of the flavors were overpowering where they were distinctive over the other. So a very good blend of those three flavors. Um, highly enjoyable and if this isn't the top quest protein flavor i would probably put it one or two uh we're probably splitting hairs at that point depending on your what you like versus what you don't like in terms of flavors but this is up there one of the tricks that i was told and i did try and it did work 
is if you take these Quest protein bars and you put them in the microwave, again, assuming you're gonna be home and eating these at home, you put them in the microwave for like five to eight seconds, it just warms them up enough to just really improve that texture when you bite into it. Um, and I highly recommend that if you are looking to even take these good flavors and improve upon them. Overall, this is certainly a Quest protein bar that I would highly recommend. Of all the Quest protein bars that I've tried, they've all been good. Some of them have been great in terms of flavors, and this one is a top-notch one. At $2 a bar, I would certainly buy the Quest S'mores protein bar. Um, at $1.13 per bar, I would definitely scoff it up if you can find it at that price. Again, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Hey, if there's a Quest flavor that I have not tried yet because they have so many flavors, I will link them all up here. Let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get my hands on it and try to test them for you because it's not necessarily about finding you a protein bar that's going to be healthy enough for you. It's about finding you a protein bar that's not only going to be healthy, but it's going to taste great and it's not going to hurt your wallet. Obviously, this is something you're going to be eating from time to time, not every day, but still you want to save money where you can. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you came this far in the video, then you know what to do already. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.